Hey everyone, today is Friday, the, oh, what is today, the 18th of April, uh, Easter weekend. I've decided that I wanted to play some Civ 5 instead of Star Wars. Uh, I just need to get back in the swing of gaming and so on and so forth, um, after being out of town for a little while. Um, uh, so I'm playing Chinese. Uh, for the first time in Civ 5. Uh, really enjoying the um, the baseline uh, just you know getting things started part of the game. Uh, oh uh, the settings I have for the game right now are <coughs> let me see here. We have a list of that's not it. Ah, here we go. Uh, so on the Chinese, their special ability is that a, the Great General's combat bonus is increased by 15%, and the chance of getting a Great General is increased by 50%. Uh, I'm on a continents-style map. On a tiny map, uh, it's one up from the smallest map duel. Uh, Settler, and I'm playing on Marathon setting. Uh, I turned off time victory because it, whatever. Um, and I have uh, two opponents instead of three. But I left the number of city-states the same, so that's why there's like, two over here. Probably gonna have to kill Dublin eventually. Because it's too close to Shanghai. I built Shanghai before I knew Dublin was there. Got a free settler out of a ruin. Yeah. Chinese wipe out the barbarian hordes. Hello. Ruins. Hey, you can oh. edge. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright, first things first. Um let's go here. I've just been dicking around really. Uh want to grab. Um I want to grab pottery first, then I'll grab archery. I'm going to get calendar because I got something for that. Sailing and optics give me some mobility. Oh, right. Two. Uh, need a worker. And... I'm going to go for the free culture building. That'll help a lot with these early policies. Uh, the main reason... Yes, I got that. No, I got that map. Uh, the main reason I do a, uh, a marathon game is because I learned how to play Civ on the original way things were. You had, didn't have a choice, really, in the speed of the game. So every time I've had an opportunity to uh, increase the speed, I haven't taken it. Uh, the only time really that's been the case is with Civilization Revolution, which I have for the DS, that game just naturally goes fast. Um, only because it's so pared down. But it works really well for the handheld platform. Um, anyway, I felt like playing Civ V, uh, aside from taking it easy, uh, mainly because they recently announced the latest edition in the Civilization franchise, Beyond Earth. Uh, it's just like Barbarians. Uh, just like they're playing uh, just like Civilization uh, 5, but with an Alpha Centauri slant on it. I did play Alpha Centauri back in the day. It was a bit more complex than I was used to at the time, so I didn't exactly have the best experience with it. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and Beijing wants wine. I'll get you wine once I got calendars. Um... That didn't go well. Alright. Anyway, uh, so Beyond Earth is about civilization on an alien world. So baseline like Civ 5 here, it's going to have the hex grid, it's going to you know build cities, you're going to get culture boundaries, I suppose. Um, yeah, makes sense. Uh, and then uh, the technology tree is going to be significantly different from what we see here. See, this is a very linear tech tree. You can see one thing logically leads to the next in our history. Um, and so, 
civilization beyond Earth is going to start way up here. And this is going to be in the center of basically what they said was a web of technology. So you start in the center and work your way out from that. And you can develop uh, outward or you can develop laterally around the center as you see fit, as you need, as you wish. Um, and, and I really like that freedom of technology, but I'm really wondering, you know, did they get in over their heads with this? Uh, I'm, I'm betting they didn't, because you just, it's for Axis. I mean, come on. <laughs> this is the fifth iteration of, of a game I grew up playing in 1991. I mean, come on. Uh, if it hasn't gotten old by now, it never will, and we can certainly take some more freedoms with it. How dare you build barbarian encampment near my small city. Poor Shanghai. It's a row of huts along the water. Anyway, uh, this is what I'm doing today. Or at least until my D&D &D game tonight. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna... Is he fighting on a hill? Yeah, he's fighting on a hill. I never heal them with these promotions because they don't get them often enough. Uh, I feel that's a waste. So what I'm gonna do is let's give him the option to fight in open terrain. Chill out. Uh, if you want to see more of this, or if you want to see different games, please speak out in either the comments below or social media. I've got links to that down below as well. Um, yay, free money. And uh, if I have the game, I will definitely consider doing a little bit of a this is kind of thing. This is Civilization V. Early game. 3205 BC. So, um, new policy, free culture building. So we're going to go from four to eight. Yeah, I don't think I can squeeze more than four cities on this landmass. Fourth one will probably be up here. That would suck. Of course, it, it, for some reason, every time I've played a game of Civ 5, I've been slapped up against the top or the bottom of the world. I'm never in the middle where, you know, I don't have any tundra. Oh well. Uh, I'll let you guys stick around to see me kill these barbarians. Yay! Alright. Well, this has been Civ 5. You've been great. <laughs> Until next time.